This is a review of the Topeak luggage rack and their sliding luggage as well. It slides and locks on real quick. So it's quick release luggage that you can take on and off the bike. This is one of their biggest ones that they make. So it's pretty tall when you expand it. And then on the side, you get expanding saddlebags and a loop that locks down onto the luggage rack. So you can really carry a lot of things with this. They say that it holds 22.6 liters when it's fully expanded. And there is a water bottle holder on the back as well. Here's a look at the other expandable saddlebag on the left side. So it gives you a lot of room to carry a lot of different things, a lot of versatility. And then if you have more than one bike, it's real easy to slide it off one bike and put it on the other. That's what it looks like when it's all filled up and expanded. And this bag is the Topeak MTX Trunk Bag DXP. And I'll put a link in the description to these bags and also to the luggage rack. So there's a handle on the top. It also has a shoulder strap you can use to carry it. It's got a tie down strap there. And then there's a small pocket in the top where you can put your wallet or easy things to reach. It's even got some little spots where you can hang a pen if you want to bring your pens and notepad. If you're a reporter, you could bring that in the top bag, put tools in there. That's all the stuff you want to easily access goes in there. And then Inside, there's another pocket built into the lid to put easy accessible things. And then on the inside, you can see it's fairly well padded. I wouldn't say that it's a, a beer cooler, but it's definitely insulated. And then the expandable part looks like that. So it jumps up in the air that much when you unzip it. On the back, there is a place where you can clip a light because your light most likely will be blocked. There's also a clip built onto the luggage rack itself where you can clip a light as well. Because as you can see on my bike, the light is blocked by that. So at night, I'd be in danger if I didn't have an extra light on the back. And then this is how the quick release mechanism works. It's real simple. You just push down on that little button. There are also Velcro straps you can use to strap it down if you don't have the quick release track on your luggage rack. You pull it out like that and you are free. Let's take a look at the ratings there. It says maximum weight 26 kilograms and don't put children on it. This is the MTX 2.0, but it's also compatible with the MTX. On my bike, I mounted it on the bolt hole that's higher and closer to the front of the bike. I think I should have mounted it where the fender's mounted, but the fender was already there. And then you can see here, there are two bolts there and then a thing that you got to bend into shape to get it to attach to your frame. There's a number of ways to do this. I'll show you how I did it on my mountain bike later on in the video. There's a multiple ways that people have done this, but that's what it looks like on my e-bike. And then if we get it out on the road, you can see these are size 13 feet with big long flip-flops. So this is like uh, Bozo the Clown wouldn't even hit his heels on the luggage rack while he's pedaling. But how big actually is it? We'll find out right now. 22 and a half inches, 10 inches wide, 14 inches high, officially two inches thick. That gives you an extra seven inches. So bottom to the top, 15 inches. It's officially 12 inches long, but you can see it bulges out. Seven inches wide, but... It expands and, and flexes a little bit, so the volleyball fits in there. And then there's padding at the bottom. You see that padding. But rather than use all those numbers, here's the American way to measure things. We measure things in 12 packs. So the top is exactly as big as a 12 pack. When it's expanded, you can fit some ice cream on top of your 12 pack and zip it shut, put some branched chain amino acids in the back. And then same thing for the saddlebag. It actually stretches out to swallow an entire 12 pack. So you could carry 36 beers on this thing. Now, how much does it weigh? One pound, 11 or 12 ounces. And that's with all of the mounting hardware on it. So that includes the bolts and everything. And the bag weighs 1,474 grams or three pounds, 3.9 ounces. So you're adding about five pounds to your bike. There are a lot of different bag options here. So this little advertising insert shows you big trunks and baskets and all the different things you could put on your bike, including a giant folding rolling milk crate with wheels that you could take into the grocery store. And if we sneak down to the store, you can see they also make one that is a quick release luggage rack that you can lock onto your seat post. So if you only sometimes want to carry luggage and don't want the weight, that's an option. And then there's a small bag. If you're just a small bag kind of guy, you just want to have some tools and come snacks all the way up to the big giant bags. And then even this giant basket is here with a track on the bottom. You can just lock that in as well. Uh, that's a look at the rail system. So you can actually buy one of these rails and put it on a non-Topeak luggage rack if you want. There's a look at the basket in the wild. If you're a guy who just wants to haul towels and stuff to the beach, that's probably better than having to work all those zippers. 
Topeak makes two versions of the luggage rack. You can see my bike has a disc brake, but I'm using the non-disc brake version of the luggage rack because it has clearance. But if you've got a traditional bike with a disc brake in the back, you can see if I try to put a luggage rack on this one, it's going to be obstructed by the disc brake mechanism. So on that one, I had to use the disc brake version. So the difference between the two versions, if you turn it sideways, you can see it, it steps out wider. And that means you have clearance for your brakes to operate. Uh, other than that, it's the same basic size and shape and functionality. It just is spread wider at the bottom. And you can see there's plenty of room for my discs to operate now. And here's a look at the top installation. You can see this bike doesn't have lugs on the side, so I had to use that single bolt hole and mount both of the lines to it, but it seems to work fine. And then I even took a, a front wheel fender, mountain bike fender, and zip tied it on there. So the luggage rack will act as a fender if I end up riding in the rain. It's just basically a front fender like that one that I've modified to put some holes in and some zip ties to secure it on the back. And at night with the side bags down, here's how much reflection you get out of it. You can see there is a reflective strip in there. There's also a reflective strip along the back on the water bottle holder. And then with the bags zipped up, there's a longer, more reflective strip on the outside of the bags like that. So you do get some light at night. And this is the look at it on my mountain bike. This is a look at it on my e-bike. You can see I moved it back a little bit from where it was at the beginning of the video to give my butt some space to breathe. So if you're interested in Topeak bike rack or luggage systems, there are links in the description. These aren't cheap, but they are good quality and I'm really happy with the way it works. So hopefully this will last me the rest of my life and I'll never have to buy another one. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.